Welcome back, everyone. I had a question in one of my comments as far as creating uh, a specialized uh, logo. Now, within Bamboo Studio and Orca Slicer, you can actually only add text to a model, but let's say you wanted to take a logo or create your own. Uh, so we'll start actually with uh, an existing logo, and specifically someone wanted to create the Marshall logo. Uh, now, fortunately, it's already out there, so we're just going to grab the logo. This is a PNG file. Um, this particular website has a bunch of different brand names, so we're going to take that. And so that file is saved as a PNG and will give us just the text. So, all right, so that guy, I have everything downloaded to the desktop just for easy access. We're going to go to this website, which is vectorizer.ai. We're going to take this PNG file, it can also be a JPEG file. All right, let that process. All right, now it's pretty straightforward from here. Everything looks good. Uh, you can hit the download button. Uh, we want to save it as the SVG uh, file. I usually don't make any adjustments here, but you can. And we will download this. All right, now that that's downloaded, we will go into Bamboo Studio or Orc Slicer, and we're going to take that file. Uh, this one, drop it in. This is the SVG file. And we've basically just added it. And all we have to do here is actually just paint it. All right, so we will make the entire model white. And if you notice, there's an outline of the actual text. So from here, we will take the paint tool, make sure we're on the fill bucket, paint that. We're good there. Now, from this point, we're actually going to flatten it a bit since it's 10 millimeters. And I'm turning off uniform scale because I actually just want to flatten the Z height. All right, so we just created it. And we can slice, then print. And actually, I'll show you how you can create your own right after this prints. All right, for those who made it this far, if you want to make specialized uh, logos, uh, this gets a little tricky uh, initially, but once you go through the steps, it's not too bad. Uh, so we're going to need a few programs. The first thing we're going to do is get the program uh, GIMP, so that's GNU uh, Image Manipulation Program. I like to go to the website iNite, somewhere around here, there's our GIMP. get that install it I already have the program installed but this will just download and install the program for us okay it's cool all right next we're going to do is we'll do the same thing but we're going to get the uh, Marshall font and this could be any font you want so we'll download that open uh, you would basically find so this one's called amplify uh, install the font this let's open up our program and we will create a new project uh, 10 AP is fine okay so I am not great at photo manipulation but this program isn't too hard to figure out and there's tons of tutorials um, but we're only going to have to do a few things so first we will go to font we'd select a section so I'm just clicking and holding and dragging uh, now that particular font uh, was called Amplify and, and we're just going to make this a little larger Highlight, make it as big as you want. In this case, it doesn't really matter because you can always adjust this later. Uh, so from here, we're actually just going to turn off the background. We're actually going to go over here. Uh, so as you type, you will show see it show over to the right. Uh, we actually want to add 
alpha to selections, you'll actually see uh, this little highlighted section. And right now, we are going to go to uh, select and then grow. And this will add an outline to uh, your words. Let's see, let's go, let's go crazy, let's go to 10. Hit OK. And right now you'll actually see an outline over the word. And I'll zoom in a bit so you can see it a little better. All right, so from here we will take our mouse cursor and we're going to click on the first one down here, which will uh, create a new layer. And we want to make sure this is a transparency layer. Hit OK. And at the moment, you'll see uh, which layers are on top, which ones on the bottom. We want to move this layer down. So just make sure that this is selected. And we're going to use the arrow to knock it down. And you can tell it what layer is above another if you just hit the little eyeball. And you can actually uh, enable or disable a layer. All right, we're mostly done. Uh, so up here, we're actually just going to change the color uh, to white to outline that. Hit OK. We will then go to the paint bucket tool and paint that. And we just created our file and we just have to export this. And to do that, we will just go up to file, export as. We want to make sure it's a PNG file. Drop this on desktop, export, export. And we will do the same thing we did earlier. We're going to take that PNG file, go to vectorizer.ai, drop it in, let it work its magic, download, keep everything the same, download. And now, we drop this into our slicer. We have the exact same steps from earlier, where you can paint it, you can shrink it, and of course print it. If you have any questions, uh, just leave some comments down below. I know this one uh, has a lot of information just sort of thrown at you. So I uh, guarantee you're going to have questions, so just uh, leave them in the comments. Thank you.